Okay, here's a video um, I've decided to make, and it's for me. It, um, it's going to be about why I think football or or soccer is not enough in some parts of the world. For me, um, isn't a gentleman's game anymore. Um, for me, for me, I um, I don't think it's a gentleman's game anymore on and off the pitch. Um, simply because obviously now it's, it's just about corporate interest and money. And the actual love of the game for me is kind of gone. Which, don't get me wrong, um, football clubs need to generate money to obviously to, to give the shareholders, to pay the players, obviously to get, to bring in players, to build in training facilities, um, new stadiums, etc, etc, and improve them. So, and obviously food and drink that's available at most stadiums. So I don't have a problem with that. But it's just when, it, to me, it's taken, um, that's become the, the, um, the first and foremost Thing that's kind of going on rather than the actual enjoyment of the game and it's um it's also to do with um for me people running the, the actual clubs where they have their agreements that they do with certain players and then make um, broken promises so they don't end up fulfilling it also with the players side of things there's a nasty little thing that i'm starting to notice where if players will, um, want to leave a club, which they're entitled to do, even if they're under contract, there was a time when um, you had to get the club's um, agreement to be able to, or permission, should I say, to talk to other clubs if you wanted it, if you wanted to go. And obviously, if the clubs didn't allow you to go, obviously they can still hold you there by your contract, or you could hand in um, a transfer re request again, it's whether or not the clubs accept it or not. But now, what's happening with a lot of these players now is to whoever the club is that they want to go to and with their agent who obviously don't care because they get a slice of the pie with the transfer um, where what they're doing now is that they're making arrangements and deals with the, the club that they want to go go at pretty much agreeing how much you want to go for how much you want to get paid and etc 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 and they're doing this even with, um, without the permission of the club which I think is not only a bit distasteful but um, I do think things are a little bit disgraceful in the sense that you're going behind um, the club's back without the permission of the club to talk to the people, so you're just doing it behind the person's back. Um, I know that in any, 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 any other job there's nothing wrong for me in looking for a better job that's available and that's fine. I mean if the pay and the stuff is better then you know you turn your own, you turn your notice and you just go, but when you're sitting there and making arrangements without telling the other person that's what you're going to do, especially in football, for me it's kind of a bit... It leaves a little nasty taste in my mouth, and I'm noticing that this, this seems to be going on a lot more often now in football, where players are going and making arrangements without the play, uh, without the club's permission. And for me, as I said, um, it can be upsetting as a fan because you, you, there's no kind of loyalty, even if, even if a player wants to go, which, uh, which players are entitled to go to make a better living. But to me, there's a wrong and a right way of um, of doing something. But for me, it's something that's far too often that's going on in the game and. That's why for me um, football isn't um, a gentleman's game anymore. Well, in my opinion anyway.